So, okay, it's October 14th, 2021. I'm here with Merrill Powell down in Tampa, Florida. You want to say hi, Merrill? Hello there. I'm Merrill, who's a co founder of Victorus, and we're here not to talk about all my cars but and all these cars, but actually just the Le Mans Coupe here because there's some question as to where the layup occurred for the fiberglass of um, the Le Mans Coupe. Now, there are four bodies still in existence, or four cars, however you want to put it, as of 2021. and um, Everyone looks identical, Meryl. So looking at this composite, I mean, this, to me, when I look at the fiberglass on a Victorus S5, a C1, versus a Ladari where they have black gel coat and so forth, this does not look like a typical, they usually have a little different cast to them after 60 years. But you're looking at actually the, the uh, schedule, the laminate schedule, which is how they were made. So when you look at this, what do you see compared to Victorus? Uh, pretty much the same. Uh, Can we get down? A, 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 about a six ounce cloth, uh, ounce and a half mat, and another layer of six ounce cloth. Okay. And uh, uh, the the correct balance of uh, glass to resin. Uh, you want just enough to saturate the uh, the fabric and the mat and. Mm -hmm. uh, no excess uh, resin making shiny spots okay so th would this can, you, we can't tell whether or not you did the layup at victorus no because but you have no memory of doing layup in victorus for any of the le mans coupes no no yeah. but um but but uh alton johnson mm -hmm. who worked for us uh and pretty much learned fiberglass uh a technique uh at victorus right uh directed and you know participated and directed the layup of this okay because this is done with victor's technique yeah we in terms of all the research we believe that the cars were all laid up in a mold at ed monaghan's house you know business whichever but the fiberglass expert that was brought in was alton he for his fiberglass knowledge up oh, there's sylvester down there and a little cafe here what's that oh coming out to say hi yeah. All right. Any, anything more? This car, of course, was never completed. <laughs> this one. And uh, this one, I found this was on a chassis with a motor and everything. Actually, I would say it might have been completed. They were well on their way, but they never finished it. And so at some point, we will hope to get to this one um, and take a little bit. And certainly will not finish this off as a canopy. We would stitch this whole body back together and then recut it with doors and a hood and so forth. So. Anything else you see on the car? No, um, okay. it's uh, it, it was obviously done uh, after we no longer used asbestos to seal the mold cracks. This would have been 1958, it would have been done. Yeah. So was that after the asbestos? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I appreciate the info. Thank you so much.